to do with anything other than actual works of art. That is getting to talk about works of art rather than about prices and thefts and personalities and all of those things. It's become harder and harder to find room for that for actual talk about art. It says the art's too difficult, so let's talk about something else. Mm -hmm. um, the Wall Street Journal's a, a big exception, I think. And just briefly, a little anecdote. Um, I was at the Washington Post until recently. My, just about my last two pieces at the Washington Post, one was a 5,000 word article about um, a single painting that took up the entire art section one week. And the other was um, coverage of the Wojnarowicz scandal, the censorship scandal at the National Portrait Gallery. And I got huge, unprecedented numbers of letters on the, um, on the coverage of the one, of the one painting, the, my analysis of, of Las Meninas by Velazquez. Readers absolutely adored it. But within the industry, what everyone noticed was the coverage of the Wojnarowicz. Um, from my, my colleagues in journalism, that's all they seem to notice. And I think there is a big gap between what journalists think the readers want and what readers actually want. I believe that readers actually want insight into works of art, that works of art are hard even for professional critics, let alone for someone picking up the newspaper, and they really want help with that. They want deep insight, they want maybe even insight that can change the nature of art looking. And I think that we haven't, we're doing them a disservice by, by moving away from that as, as quickly as we can. 